D&D players, what's your best story of when you or a party member rolled either a 20 or a 1? Our group has a joke that one of the group's members' grandma is a holy daddy since she always bakes us cookies, calls us on our birthdays, etc. Basically, it's sweet all across the board. Well, our DM made an entire campaign on her being kidnapped and us going to rescue her. This campaign lasted seven months. When we finally get to the wizard keeping her captive, he is giving us a speech while standing in front of her, seated and chained up. Me, a Dilster Fugnut, draws my bow and shoots an arrow at him. I roll a natural one. The wizard steps to the side. My arrow hits Grandmams, square in the face, killing her instantly. I hold the title, Grandma Slayer. My character wanted to enter a pub like a badass. I tried to kick the door open, rolled a one, broke my foot. We were against a much more powerful boss than we could have handled, so we had to flee. It was an undead. She was an evil queen of her land some hundred years ago, and someone brought her back to life. Sadly, our bard was stuck on the other side of the room and could not get out. He decided that with his charisma, he would try and woo the queen into marrying him, thus escaping death. Our GM thought it ridiculous, so he just went along with thinking he would solve the problem one way or another as he didn't really want one of us to die at level 2. He told our bard to roll a d20, and he got a 20. Now our GM had to uphold the critical charisma, while also running the boss's ambitions. It resulted in our bard becoming a spy for her, but he would also spy on her. Honestly, it was too funny seeing our GM and bard improvising a love scene on the spot, between a character about to be killed and another trying to resist his charms and marriage advances. A friend was running a game where there was an impossible amount of ones being rolled. Finally he gave up on normal stuff and just said, you shit your armour. The next action that the character took, roll a one. So he says, you slip and fall in your own shit. We were supposed to rescue a kid with strange powers but our encounter was not going well. DM made the demon holding the kid sprout wings and start flying away with him. As the ranger I rolled the hit with a bramble arrow to stop the demon escaping the field, I convinced the DM to give me advantage. Still, I rolled two ones. I asked if a critical miss could mean I hit the kid instead. DM said he'd allow it. I used a spell slot to add force damage, hoping to knock the kid loose. Uh, it worked but I rolled basically all max for damage. DM said the demon dropped the kid and he landed on a root and got impaled. Instant death. So instead of his original plan, which was for the demon to escape and us to track him down and actually rescue the kid from a winnable fight, the whole campaign derailed into finding a powerful wizard who could resurrect our very dead kid that no longer mattered to the forces of hell. We were fighting through a castle and came across a main boss who was a knight in a very fancy heavy armour. We were already out of shape from the previous fight, so one of our players casted Mage Hand and used it to try and unbuckle his armour. Our DM had him roll to see if he could manage it. Natural 20. Our cleric then blasted him with a guiding bolt. Armour is gone and his AC went from 22 to 12. We pulled lots of shenanigans on our DM. It was pretty early in the campaign of my first ever game. Our group was in some place, a conference hall, I think, and being attacked by some lizard dude who was supposed to be a more minor villain in the campaign, I think. I never found out for sure. My character was an ex-marine, a big game hunter or something like that. DM. Lizard guy shows his face. What are you going to do? Me. I shoot him in the face with X, some big ass gun that I did insane damage. DM walking me through. Well, you're going to need to roll very high to do that. Me. Gets the roll. DM. Well now you have to roll to see where you hit. Me. Gets a high roll for the face. DM. Well now you need to roll for damage. Me. Rolls for highest damage possible. DM. Stares in shock. Well, um, I guess he's dead. I think I shaved a few hours of the campaign by that move. Happened to me too. I wanted to start a long campaign with the character hunting a wizard by following a trail of villainous operations. The first encounter was designed to taunt them into tracking him down. 
So he was up in the air behind a magical barrier that prevented the passing of spells and non-magical weapons. Turns out the ranger had one magical arrow. Rolled a 20. Rolled a high D100 on the critical hit table we used. And plucked him out of the sky. A few magic items broke during the landing. But a good bit survived. Free magic items after the first five minutes of play. Yeah. And a DM without a story. Well, almost. I still ran this campaign on the base of... The big evil boss vanished without a trace. What will his underlings do? We had something similar happen in an encounter. DM had three stone statues and one comes to life. So we start fighting it. And the second guy to take a hit gets a natural 20. He then rolls a percentile to get the extra effect and gets 100. Table states it's an instant death. Thing was, the NPC had over 400 hit points. We were 8 level 1, and he had planned to have each of the other statues come to life, one after the other, as he whittled the main one down. It was meant to be a massive and long battle, where not everyone could make it to the end. The look in the DM's face as the players got the 100, priceless. My group was in some cavern, and we come to a gap in our path. We have no idea how far down the fall would be, but we can't see the bottom. I decided to tie a rope to myself while our tank holds on to the other end. I attempt to jump over the gap to get the rope secured to a rock on the other side. I roll a one. I fall down the pit. Our tank gets yanked down with me and we fall until we land in a giant spider's web. Our group spends the next two meetings rescuing us. I was then given the title, Goose Be the Clumsy. Not D&D, but a different game. Wizard tried to cast cantrips to impress some people. This is basically the spell version of lighting off fireworks to look cool. It's the easiest spell in the game. So he fails. Then he rolls on the spell failure table. Major summoning of an angelic or demoning being. Then roll on the rank and gets the worst possible roll. Prince of Hell. Literally the demon who is the devil's right hand appears unbound on earth. By rules of the game, he roams freely doing whatever he wishes for 666 days. It pretty much destroyed the game. Players were having a social get-together at a restaurant slash tavern. All courteous people. Two players wanted to pay for the entire party. Turned into combat encounter to get the bill first. Player A manages to secure the bill and pays 10 gold. Player B decides that they want to sneak 10 gold into player A's pouch. Rules sleight of hand. Dexterity check, natural one. Player B is now groping player A under the table. (laughs) We are in a room or a cave, I don't quite remember. But I was getting kind of paranoid that our DM wanted us to explore certain rooms more. You know the he's hiding something feeling. So I was checking everything into detail. But my rolls were all so bad that the outcome was just terribly funny. I check the floor for traps. You see a floor. I check the pile of rocks. You see rocks. They're rocky. It was so bad that my party bought me a t-shirt about it. Love it. Kinda reminds me of the time the DM had a brain fart describing stuff. The first one I was DMing. I had a party of two at the time, because no one showed up, lol. One was a gnome illusionist wizard, named Sparkles, who had a strength of four, so he couldn't open doors by himself. The other was a pretty generic barbarian that never really had a name. Don't ask. So I set up this boss fight that was kind of a joke. Now that I say it, it wasn't even really a boss, more of a mini boss. It was the bees master. Essentially a beast master, but only for bees. At the end, Sparkles got the boss's wand. A beehive just kinda impaled on a stick. With this, he could summon a swarm of bees that would do what he says. At some point I decided that if he had enough bees, he could kinda green lantern them into objects. So as a logical progression of things, he made a couch. Why a couch? I don't know, but apparently a flying couch made of bees is the most comfortable form of travel. Fuck. Fuck bees. While on this couch, the barb asks what it feels like, and I have a moment of pure genius. It feels like bees. I will never live that one down. I got this one. So it was a school activity and everyone in my class were playing D&D because our English teacher was nuts. I was fine with it. D&D is fun. So our group, five-ish, is a bunch of Vikings who dive through a portal into hell after our leader was taken by the ruler of the underworld. 
We end up in a large room with souls passing through it. We walk through a doorway and on the left is a hallway and the right is stairs going down. Me and another member head down with the other three going left. Yes, we split the party. I and the other member walk into a room that was at least a hundred foot tall or something with pillars on the side and a giant door at the end of the room. It was almost as if I could hear boss music. I walk to the giant 100 foot door and knock. Stupid. Yes. The door opens and guess what? A giant as big as the door opens. He demands to know who intrudes upon his room. I, knowing I'm fucked and having a charisma 18, decide to go with it. Since it's a Nordic world with Nordic gods, I yell at the giant. I am Loki, the god of mischief. I demand you to take me to the throne room at once. I roll a 10. Not too bad. The giant is unconvinced, however. You do not look like Loki. To which I respond. I am the god of mischief. I take many forms. And I present myself however I please. Natural one. The DM then describes the stain my body left on both the walls and the floor of the room. I was dead within five minutes playing my first session. It was fun. My friends and I were on the first day of campaigning, trying to sneak around a corner in an area filled with cultists and guards. So we do a stealth check, and all of our party does fine, except one. My friend rolls a one, and so she goes around the corner and runs directly into a cultist. She then asked her DM, how close am I to the cultist? And the DM says, oh, I don't know, kissing distance? So that's exactly what my friend does, kisses the cultist does a charisma check, gets like an 18, and it works. Not only did this craziness get us out of a tough spot, it also got us allies. The cultist is now my friend's girlfriend and her brother. Also, cultist is on our side too. Wait, what? The cultist is now my friend's girlfriend and her brother? What? No, that doesn't. <laughs> Stop this incest at once. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking vile. <laughs>